Com. Okay, I apologize for getting him on 15 minutes late, but he'll be with us the, the rest of this hour and the full next hour. And then the Lord Christopher Monkton interview. Uh, we have Alan Watt joining us from Canada of BreakTheMatrix.com. Uh, and uh, it's uh, great to have you here with us, sir. Or no, Cutting Through the Matrix. Cutting Through the Matrix.com, excuse me. Cutting Through the Matrix.com. Alan, good to have you with us. It's good to be back on again, Alex. Okay, you've heard me ranting about money and, and funding and support. I want to get into the overall globalist takeover, the financial collapse, where you see things coming after the break. But in the next three minutes, I didn't ask you to do this beforehand. I really want your perspective. Can you explain to people how the big foundations and the government funds the mainstream media? And do you agree with us, Alan, uh, that, I mean, like when we flew up twice to interview you in Canada and tried to help you out a little bit for doing the interview, which you, you didn't even ask for, but you need to support you. I mean, how important is it to support Infowars.com? And the whole scheme of things... And give me your honest response. What do you think of this show? What do you think of its trailblazing value? I think the few remaining stations that are left, and there's very few. There used to be lots of stations for Patriot Radio. Uh, the few remaining ones are the only lifeline that people have to any alternate news uh, that fills, fills in all the blank spots which the media leaves out. And uh, without it, really, you're left with nothing but mainstream propaganda. And the mainstream will never tell you that they're really shepherding you into this whole new global society, which is an authoritarian society. And uh, the show is the few patriot stations that are left are trying to put out the information to show you what kind of society it is to be. It's already decided. They have put out their books on it. Uh, they've got lots of documentation at the United Nations of the society they're bringing in. It's an authoritarian society, totally controlled society, and uh, there's no d d democracies or republics in it. It's simply authoritarian from top to bottom. And we're, we've been living through it for the last few years. We've, we've watched the implementation as have taken the rights away from all the people across the entire planet. And this is a global agenda. And right now, as I say, the only lifeline they have uh, are the occasional talk show hosts who put out uh, alternate information and try to at least educate the ones who need that. And people, people do really crave uh, to have the... The, the little bits explain to them that the media does leave out. No, You've got to know why, why everyone right now is pushing towards total integration with the International Monetary Fund. If you know the history of it, you'll know it was set up 50, 60 years ago to be completely integrated for the world. And so even Steve De Harper on Canadian um, television uh, at the G20 meeting admitted that the In fact, guys, uh, if guys, sorry to interrupt, we're going to break. I sent you that Harper video about, yeah, we got to give up our sovereignty to have an economy. That's how they hold us hostage. It's also up on prisonplanet.com. Do we have that loaded in the video system? Uh, the Stephen Harper admits Canadians need to give up sovereignty. It's a prisonplanet.com article if we don't have it in the video list. Let's come back and talk about that, Alan, on the other side, and then the overall view of where we are in the rollout, the implementation of this global government. Uh, he is Alan Watt of CuttingTheMatrix.com. I'm Alex Jones of InfoWars.com. We shall return after this quick break. 24-plus hour broadcast is live. The number one issue we have today in Canada and have had for the past couple of years, without a shadow of a doubt, is the economy. But as I constantly remind Canadians, there isn't really a Canadian economy anymore. It is a global economy. And yes, the Canadian economy, so to speak, is doing better than many other countries. So Stephen Harper. But the general trajectory of the Canadian economy, whether we're on the down or downhill as we were last year, or whether we're on the rebound as we are this year, is fundamentally determined by the state of the global economy. And that's what these meetings are all about. And that's why they are so critical. That's why it's so critical that we participate and play a major role because Canadian jobs and Canadian futures are intimately linked to what goes on here and quite frankly everything that we do in our country uh, to uh, improve our country's position is ultimately to improve that position within the context of a global economy and we cannot be effective at major economic matters any, any longer unless we work with our other economic partners around the world and work with them closely and intimately. That is essential. I know some people don't like it. It's a loss of national sovereignty, but it is a simple reality. It is a simple reality uh, that we are in a global economy. The global economy is determining uh, where we're headed and will determine our future, and we have to play our part uh, in, these, uh, in these forums to make sure that our interests are protected and advanced. All right. So they hold you hostage. 
They say the global economy has to make the decision. That's the mega central banks that bought up the planet through fraud with at least 1.5 quadrillion, 1,500 trillion. And now, oh, we've got to let th this foreign group make the decisions and determine it. Globalism's our only hope. See, it gets you like a boa constrictor, squeezes you, and then hisses in your face while it's killing you that it's saving you. And this is how they're selling pure evil and world government. Alan Watt. Yes, and again, it's, it's nothing to really shock some of us who studied it for years because uh, we've watched all the different uh, global meetings I've had. You could understand that they're all members of the Council on Foreign Relations that was set up as a parallel government. Uh, they put members in government to most of your bureaucrats at the high levels are all CFR members. And the same in every other country across the world, uh, all members of the Council on Foreign Relations. And sometimes they'll change the name for the same organization. But their, their plan for the last, uh, oh, almost 100 years has been to bring in a global society, a sort of mixture of Marxism and a mixture of a, a Keynesian or Keynes, basically, uh, philosophy on money. That's the system we're living in now. And now we're going for the kill, which was the second part of the, the recipe of Bretton Woods, was where the IMF would come up and be the global banker for the whole planet and be in charge, not only of dishing up money across the world, but also of managing every country's debt. Instead of the country doing it themselves, they will do it for them. They this is a financial takeover, people. and everything we talked about has come true with total precision because we were only reading their own documents. That's right. They have made it public in all their publications, uh, just that the public uh, never hear about them because the media is perfectly silent about them, and the media is silent because uh, the, the leaders are all members of the Council from Foreign Relations, and we've had Rockefeller before, who finances an awful lot of the CFR's movements in America and polishes their books, too, uh, and he pays for it all. He, he said uh, one of his meetings, we thank you. He's talking to the editors of newspapers and the magnets, and he said, we thank you for keeping it secret. We could never have gone this far without your, your help, keeping it all secret from the public. What point so, have we reached? I mean, they're publicly saying they're devaluing global currencies to, quote, fix the debt. That's like if your leg's chopped off, chopping off the other leg. Yes, because, because you're going to bring in a, a standardized monetary system for the whole planet. That's definitely on the books. And obviously, they always do the same thing when they change into a new monetary system. They devalue the present currencies as they amalgamate it all together. And uh, that's what they're doing with the U.S. And, and Canada to follow. Canada always follows the U.S. because we are so intertwined financially with business. Uh, there's major resistance to it. Uh, in fact, Brzezinski talked about a total global awakening the first time in history and admitted that they are in trouble. Uh, what's your take on that? I don't see it really as trouble. Um, remember, too, these guys have full-time think tanks working on every possible problem that could arise with their big uh, far-reaching plan. And they work it out well in advance. And they have, as you know, across the world set up a police state and a militarized state in order to take care of any problems as we go through this as a just-in-case scenario. We've been trained since 2001 to simply obey anybody in a black-clad uniform, and, and this is part of, of that, too. It's training us to accept uh, total authority, um, poverty coming your way, the redistribution of wealth. They've Austerity. They've announced that. Yeah, they've announced that openly, that whatever happens in, in say, somewhere in Africa, uh, you, your wealthier people, will have to bail them out. And uh, so you're, this is the redistribution of wealth, as Karl Marx talks about. They call it the third wave. This is the third wave, the joining of the capitalist system with what was called the, the Soviet system. Which the Rand Corporation uh, documents admit they've also been involved in. Alan Watts, stay with us. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you 
you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. When you're out on the road... The last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee Where they make blue diamond gusset jeans They sew pride in every stitch Guarantee you love the way they fit Put a diamond gusset in the crotch Where you need it most Blue diamond gussets Got it Others don't We turn jeans inside out Diamond gusset jeans Made in the USA with unparalleled quality Our Defender motorcycle jeans Combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection So you can ride all day with confidence Order yours at gusset.com Diamond gusset jeans Got it Others don't Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, HomeGain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home, finding a realtor, and getting any real estate questions answered. Go to HomeGain.com and see what I'm talking about. All you need to do is type in your home address and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online. This is a great way to be able to monitor the value of your home. And again, it's absolutely free. There are tons of tools to help you. For instance, if you want to remodel your home, go to HomeGain.com. Use their Home Sale Maximizer to help you determine which home improvements can most increase your home's value before you put it on the market. For 10 years, these folks have been helping home sellers and buyers. Visit their link at InfoWars.com. Look for Max, the orange home gain gorilla, to help you with any real estate needs you might have. You'll love this site. It's HomeGain.com. H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. Check them out today. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Well, thank you for joining us for the 27-hour transmission going right through the show tomorrow. we got Lord Christopher Monkton coming up, exclusive interviews, live interviews. Uh, David Icke uh, joining us in a few hours. We're going to have uh, for two hours Gerald Salente. We're going to have Max Kaiser for an hour. I mean, the list goes on and on. The full TV guide for it, TV slash uh, radio guide, is at InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com. I just saw Kurt post it up there. It's also on the main page of InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And I want to just remind you that we're doing this Money Bomb to finish the new studios and continue our operations and, and hopefully expand what we're doing. I mean, we, we need this money to really just basically continue. It's, it's neck and neck. Uh, but we definitely need it to expand, and we're going to expand. We're committed to this. Uh, and you go to InfoWars Money Bob, InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com to donate, uh, or go to InfoWars.com to link through, or call 888-253-3139 uh, with your donations over the phone. You can also write to us. That will be added uh, next week to the overall number, P.O. Box 19549, Austin, Texas, 78760. P.O. Box 19549, Austin, Texas, 78760. And do you understand Ford Foundation, Carnegie, Rand Corporation, All the old-timers were right. It's true. World government run by the big banks. You pay your taxes to them, VAT taxes, taking the pension funds, troops on the streets for the financial collapse they engineered. We're going to be playing some video of that coming up early in the next hour. This is all happening now. This is real. It's happened to every other country. Most countries are under under tyranny. Then the countries fall apart and just are in squalor. They use uh, the economic warfare to control you, just like Mexico does. But we can beat this, okay? They're not invincible. We've known their plans. We've warned people for decades, and they are having a lot of problems. And they're losing uh, in their operations in, in, in the Middle East. The, you know, the, the globalists are not invincible. And regardless, as we go into this thing, humanity cannot give up. The answer to 1984 is 1776. Resistance is victory. 
Uh, but uh, the globalists are out in the open now. It is incredibly brazen. But one big thing that I know is hurting them, Alan, is 